a very wet DKB ice canal in Altenburg. The sixth stop in the FIBT Wiesmann two-man bobsleigh World Cup tour sees two local heroes almost tied at the top of the standings after the first heat. Manuel Mahata aiming to make it a German clean sweep, only fourth in heat one, but a much neater getaway. He tidied up the mistakes from his first run down the difficult and demanding Altenburg track and put in a great shout for a medal. Preventing a German clean sweep in heat one was the Canadian sled of Lyndon Rush. With Lascelles Brown not having made the best start behind him, they needed to tidy it up for heat two to go for a medal. But again, the Canadian brakeman had trouble loading and it wasn't just the start. Lyndon Rush couldn't stitch a great run together, slipped behind and he would be perhaps out of the medals. Mahata led with two sleds still to go. Well, with one German sled on the top of the pile, it was up to junior world champion Francesco Friedrich, the 25-year-old from Pirna, just down the road from Altenburg, to put in his shot for gold, and it was a great run. He led with just last year's race winner Thomas Florschutz remaining at the top of the hill. With the massive power of Kevin Kuska starting him, he got close to Friedrich at the start line, just 400 of a second had separated the two of them in heat one. Would he be able to open up an advantage? It took him a while to get close, and in the end, he couldn't overhaul him. It was the perfect result for the local fans. Neither of their heroes lost. They both won gold. Mahata taking bronze in a German sweep of the podium. Florschutz and Friedrich on top as Lyndon Rush moved to the top of the World Cup rankings. For the FIBT TV, I'm Martin Haven.